Welcome to Aspirations with Ashley. Hey guys. So, there, now you guys can see my uh, wonderful real backdrop here. Uh, I might be a little dark, but I figured you guys would want to watch that nice view more than me anyway. <laughs> okay, so anyways, today I was scrolling on Instagram. I actually don't scroll much, but actually half the time I do, it's because I want to hear what my motivational speakers are posting for the day because they're regular posters. So I recommend doing that for a pick-me-up. So today we're going to get right to it with Mel Robbins again, and she's going to be talking about the two things that we can control. So that's all I'm going to say. Take it away, Mel. You can't change your past. You can't change the weather. You can't change how your feelings might rise up in your body and how you get triggered, but you always have control over two things. This is the gift that we've been given as human beings. Number one, you can control what you think about. And a lot of us do not actually exercise that muscle enough. And number two, you can control what action you take next. So despite how tired you might be, despite how much you might doubt yourself, despite how scared shitless I am, I can still choose to redirect my thoughts when I notice they drift to something that's not empowering me. You're 100% capable of doing the actions that will take you to the next level. You know what those actions are. The problem is you're spending all your time thinking about those actions and that's a trap that's where your self-doubt comes in first of all acknowledge that you know what to do acknowledge that you don't feel like doing it or that you're scared and do it anyway literally think about what it was like when you were a kid and your parents were so annoying because they didn't care about your excuses they knew what you needed to do and they pushed you to do it you got this stop focusing on the shit you can't change and start focusing on the actions you can take and more positive thoughts because it's really difficult to get to the next level when you're busy cheering against yourself all right wow that was just fantastic there's the sea again Wow, okay, so the thing that I, well, one of the things I love the most about this is she says, you can let your emotions rise up. And for me, that just feels so freeing that, like, I'm always, like, I'm the person that feels and feels away. Like, I just keep feeling. I don't pretend not to feel or run away from how I feel. I feel it. And so when she said, let your emotions rise, rise up like it's okay to because I know it's good to heal it because you heal when you feel it however like it's okay to let it rise because you know when you feel like I'm thinking of exactly like the the anxious and the worrying when it does it rises up inside of you and I guess you know what I have a habit of doing is like judging myself that like I'm feeling those things and then I guess it makes it worse too because, you know, we shouldn't feel like that. That's classic of how I used to think and, and sometimes still do, but I'm so much better than before. Uh, I don't know if you guys, you know, can connect to any of that or know people. But yeah, like, it's okay. Like, we have, we can give ourselves permission to be okay with that rise up feeling that things are really uneasy. Just like, accept that it's there. Let it rise up. And that, I think, is just an amazing takeaway for me personally. Um, she also mentioned, as you guys heard, do the actions, don't just think about them. And then I like this, the trap of self-doubt. I mean, how many times do we think about the action so much and then overthink it? And then I just sounded a little trinny when I said think it, like the way I enunciated. Sorry, you guys. So I live in Trinidad still and um, during this crazy pandemic. And so sometimes I might say a little thing that sounds kind of different and it's it could be a little Trinidadian English coming in. So anyways, here we go. Um, I like... Like, it's just amazing. Like, we don't want that self-doubt to come in. So we have to think about the action and then do it. You know, a lot of times we might get stuck in the doing and then because of self-doubt, like, oh, should I really? And you doubt yourself. So interesting thought there, Mel. And um, she also said, you know, focus on stuff you can change and focus on the, or focus on what you can change, not what you can't change and focus on actions and your thoughts, keep it positive. It's so hard to do, you guys, you know? And I know some of you, this, this is a cakewalk because you guys, you've been practicing this for so long. So it's amazing to, you know, to be on that part. But anyway, like the other last thing that she said was, it's hard to get to the next level when you're busy 
cheering against yourself. That one really, really hits because, you know, I'm really hard on myself and get really frustrated. And I learned I have so much perfectionism in me. I do. I just even said the word incorrect, but I don't really care. It's not really a big thing. I don't have to be perfect in every way. So far, it was what I'm thinking. But um, yeah, it's hard to get to the next level when you're busy cheering against yourself. So it's like we have to be intentional at being our best cheerleader when other people aren't going to be cheering for us. And I mean, I should put that one on a, on a post-it on my mirror and add it to the list. So you guys, let's cheer for ourselves this week. And I hope that you have an amazing week.